Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Oblivion. Where last time, I discovered Umbicano's business is significantly more complicated than I was expecting. I thought this guy was just a pretty standard Bethesda NPC, okay? You get them in all Bethesda games where you just run into someone and they say, Hey, I'll pay you over the odds of for this particular trinket and it's just a good way of making money. But um, no, it turns out this guy is mixed up in some potentially really dark stuff, okay? Mercenaries are ambushing and betraying each other and dark eye layered magic in particular. He wants to, yes, have uh, the last crown of the Ileids, uh, something the term Menia Sinner most certainly thinks is a bad idea. So, uh, I mean, we're going to do it anyway, but I do expect it's going to go potentially a bit wrong. Or maybe alternatively, a bit right. Because uh, I'm the one who's wearing the crown of Nenalata. This idiot is wearing a fake from a different city. So, uh, okay, let's see what happens if we go and bring that into the throne room. And yes, he did say he wanted me to meet him at Nenalata in three days. So it is currently, yes, 17th of a heart fire. Which does rather conveniently give me plenty of time to nip to church in order to sort out my rattles. Because, uh, seriously, every time I get infected by a disease, I completely forget about it for days or possibly weeks. Seriously, I only ever remember at the exact moment I look at my stats and start wondering why some of them are lower than they should be. There we go, much better. Oh, speaking of my stats, that does remind me of something I've been meaning to get round to. Okay, so, these days I spend a lot of time wearing Lydia, because even with over 70 strength, I just do not have enough carry capacity to be carrying around all the specialist tools I've been gathering. The problem being that Lydia doesn't give me any other advantages, but that got me to thinking. What would happen if I didn't actually use a ring that just gave me bonus feather? What if I just made a ring that gave me bonus strength? Because basically, that's the same thing, it's more carry capacity. However, in the Mages Guild, all I can do is, yes, give myself 10 points in strength, because that's the maximum I can boost an attribute even with a maxed out soul jam. And that got me to thinking, hang on, John, you've already got a ring that does basically that already, and more besides, why are you just sleeping on the Mind and Body Ring? A ring that gives you 8 points of strength and 8% reflect damage. So okay, if I take off Lydia, then I lose, uh, yeah, 125. So it goes down to 390 from 515. If I just put this on. Okay, so the benefit to carry weight is a lot less, but I'm gaining reflect damage. So okay, if I've got plenty of spare weight capacity, yeah. If you can't stun the feet or scout it about. If I run slightly over weight capacity, go over to mind and body. Lydia is for an emergency if I am massively over capacity only. Beautiful. And speaking of which, midday on the 18th, we're now outside Cadlow Chapel. So that should mean, there it is, literally over the water from, ooh. Scouts and about, paying for itself already, so... Okay. I see people outside my destination, Nenalata, though. Is that potentially... Yes, my employer. Okay, hang on, just um, go over to him, just in case that's my employer. Hello, do I work for you? Okay, it's you, I do work for you. Marvellous. Sorry, we're both two days early. Also, bloody hell, Claude's here. Dear oh flipping dear. Don't worry, I hold no grudges. You bested me. I am man enough to admit it. And okay, he's finally realised that I robbed Hello. him. Marvellous, he caught up in the ants. Here you are at last. I know exactly where the throne room lies. Your job is simply to get me there safely. Okay, but that could potentially be, yes, more or less dangerous depending on how killable you are precisely, so... Bare minimum, looks like, yes, I can actually instruct him to wait or follow. Suggesting he's not just going to run ahead like an idiot. And the answer is, oh bloody hell, he's killable. Okay, so what we're going to do, buddy, is uh, we're going to step inside. And then we're going to ask you to wait right by the door while me and Claude go and deal with uh, literally everything, okay? Especially as I can't help but notice in the background, the enemies are approaching music has already started playing. So you just wait here, me and Claude will go sort this out for you, alright? Right, scouted about on, gold brand out, nothing behind us. 
Claude, can I give you orders too? You're the leader of this expedition, so lead on. Or maybe you going to be his bodyguard. I suspect you might be, yes, his bodyguard. Okay, so you're going to stay wherever this guy is. That's probably fine. And uh, we might be able to open up a shortcut for this guy. Or that's the Skyrim door. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Still looks like a lot of, uh, yeah, fish, rats. That's probably a fish over there. Oh, I love Scouted About. Scouted About is my new favorite ring. And hang about. Okay, well, I see a skeleton, and the skeleton sees me too. So, okay, let's go sort out that skeleton. Marvelous, and you're probably... Okay, hang on. Which of you is the summoned fake skeleton? Which of you is the real one? And, oh, bloody hell, there's goats and... Right, I'm trapped in a... Well, this has not started well, to be honest. No. Right, block up the corridor. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm sure we're all under control. Oh! And complete coincidence, while I was just bumbling around, taking out the local Daedra and whatnot, I assume I have hit Blade. This must be 75, so okay, I'm now expert, meaning if I am walking backwards and I hold the trigger to, yes, do the power attack, then knockdown chance. Okay, so just like my knockdown with the bow, gotcha, that's pretty good, so... Okay, lads, 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 who wants to be knocked down first, admittedly? Okay, I need an enemy that's, like, walking towards me for this to be a thing, actually, as it turns out. Oh, you! Walk towards me, please. Oh, I'm too fast. Oh, this is going to be embarrassing, because... Okay, just need to step away from him and then... Okay, I think I'm genuinely too fast for this to be useful to me. That's marvellous. Also, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just clear out the old uh, soul jammer for a second, because 100% I'm having your souls, buddy. Okay, that seems to be it for the first area, so it's safer to bring my good friend forward at this point, just as soon as we've done all the treasure looting. Can't deny, this guy is, you know, kind of into his treasure looting, so I'm definitely wanting to be getting the treasure before he gets his grubby mitts on it. He can have the Woken Stones, though. Those aren't really that valuable, all things considered. So, okay, Umbicano, safe to come through, buddy. Also, I need to remember, when I'm fighting ghosts, pick up the bloody ectoplasm. Because that is the only ingredient I'm aware of where, yes, I can actually turn that straight into a shock potion on its own. On to Sector 2, and I'm a little bit concerned because... Okay, the enemy are right here. Like... Please do not run forward and get involved. I know there is a lich right here. Do not come and be involved in this fight. Okay, I am begging you, don't. We just need to bring this guy forward. So what's this? Oh, bloody hell. Oh, this might be about to get nasty. There's more coming around the corner. Okay, you know what? John, 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 John. Those shock potions you literally just made. Shock does bonus damage to Daedra and whatnot. So just slap that on you and boom. Oh, that should do some good poisony work to you, buddy. And then just, oh, there's another one. That's fine. Finish him off, finish him off, finish him off, finish him off, finish him off. Don't care about the soul. Okay, there's one dead. You guys, you guys are not getting involved. Good. Stay over there. You're taking out just a basic zombie. That's honestly a-okay. We're down to, right, that's a, that's another lich. He's got a staff, which could be seriously dangerous if that's like a Winter Fury staff. Yep. That's one of the really bad staffs, actually. Okay, liches are getting seriously nasty. Restore health. We've got plenty of that for the time being. And my summoners... No! No, no, don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh, cocking hell, I told you to stay out of this! I told you to stay out of this! Finish him off as fast as possible. Everybody focus on him. He's purple, which means damage reflection or possibly magic reflection. I don't care. Okay, what did I just say? I said, stay where you are. Okay, he can heal himself, which is good. But okay, he does sometimes get pulled forward. I don't know what does or, or doesn't make it happen, but that's a staff of silence. That could be dangerous to me too, to be honest, Jess. Yeah, so, okay, just help myself too. Oh, that's a lot of money. That's nice. That's nice right there. Okay, me and my summon are going to sort this out. Please do not get involved, okay? We are doing this for you. You hide us as bodyguards. I'm attempting to guard your body by keeping it well out of the bloody way. Please assist me by doing precisely that. Okay, area two cleared, and the next area is Cell Aranarpina. 
Now, admittedly, I do not know how to, yes, translate I lay it entirely, though I am picking up the altered word here or there. But that sounds fancy, okay? It's got multiple words in it. That feels fancy to me. So, okay, I'm pretty sure we've made it, Umbacano. Oh, yeah. This is the end of the line, and in more ways than one, potentially. I think I see what's going on here, so... Uh, this room is at my destination. There is a set of stairs here that, yes, clearly is going to uh, retract itself. So, uh, we're gonna be left trapped down here at some point. And thanks to scouting about, I can see many, many enemies nearby. There is also an indent right here. That's gonna be where, yes, that uh, patterned stone I got the guy. That's gonna be where that fits. So, uh, okay. We're going in on Bacano, and I suspect we're going to be trapped down there, though. Okay, just out of interest. Nope, never mind. It turns out you're going to be trapped down here. I can actually just, um, jump out by, you know, using my ludicrous boing and ludicrous boots. So, right, have fun down there, on Bacano. Speaking of which, buddy, let's get you into the very obvious trap. This is it. Just as Sorkelin described it. Follow me. All right, here we go. He's going to plug thing into thing. Of Ariel, ye Tamriel, Delavoy, and Arpin, Arantanabai. All right. He knew the ancient I layered to get inside. Here it is. The throne of the last king of the Elliots. And so it falls to me to begin the restoration of our ancient glory. Oh, I flipping knew it. And he was... Oh, apparently he was horribly destroyed. I didn't actually see that because there was too much fog. But yeah, basically he just walked into Old Trafford and declared himself king while wearing a Manchester City shirt. Got it. So, okay, things potentially didn't go desperately well for him. And now the city's angry at me. Kind of knew the ambush was coming, to be honest. And I've still got... Claude. You won the last round. I salute your bold spirit. Yeah, that's great, but are you actually willing to, you know, fight alongside me given Umbacano's dead and thus no one's paying you? An unfortunate end to a profitable relationship. Where will we find another like him? I wonder how he could have miscalculated so badly. Those old elves didn't seem as glad to see him as he expected, eh? You know what? I just like how calm this guy is in the face of... Uh... Everything. You know, robbing me, being robbed by me, his employer getting murdered. He's just completely unflappable. I love him. But yeah, seriously, we are about to be um, murdered by... Oh, bloody hell, that is... That is so many... Oh, cock me, are these all liches? Is this six liches? Okay, I'm gonna suggest actually we, we don't do this. Okay, you know what? I'm uh, having the Eyelid's crown of Manchester City... All his stuff, his special books, etc. Oh, this is... This is six liches. No, I'm so sorry. But the only way to do this is going to be... Yeah, just basically... Well, want to leave Claude to his death because this isn't working out for him. We just stay right at the back over here. We block up this door. Kind of hope maybe Claude's going to be like, you know, unkillable. That would be useful. And I just stand right here and just never let them get to me. And eventually, slowly, we're wearing down. But bloody hell, six plus their summons. This is just a giant pile of skeleton summons. This is this is ludicrous. And I can't summon inside the... They're breaking out. I think we might just want to go to be perfectly... Okay, we can't. No, John, we just said we can. Okay, if need be, we can just, you know, leave. That's just a skeleton champion, but not a real one. Okay, just, just block him up. Just get him in here. And don't mind me, buddy. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. You're just a summon, so you're nothing special. If I've got any chance of winning this, you're dead, by the way. Well, one of them's dead already. Okay. I need splash. I need splash damage. What have I got that's got splash damage? John. The Arrows of Storm Strike. It's only 20 points, but it's going to be, yeah, for two seconds. It's not bad. Uh, just wait for one of them to sort of try and break through. And as soon as they do, they're all just in the center. Oh, blimey. Okay, that's something. Just 
Get him forward. Bloody hell, this is... This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. No, not you! Okay, you're dead, which is good. Just need to find a target I can hit. That'll do. That's some good damage. Stormstrike doing the work here. Slowly but surely. I can take out the ghost. I'm not sure you're a summoner. I'm not sure these guys can summon ghosts. And okay. As long as my mana regen holds together, we can... I was just hit by so many spells at once. Everything's fine, probably. Okay, if my mana keeps coming back, I can just keep summoning more Storm Atronachs into that room. Storm Atronachs are completely resistant to their Lightning Bolt, and they like Lightning Bolt. They love doing that. It's like their favorite spell in the world. They sometimes also do fire, which is, that's, that's worse, but screw it. And, okay, we definitely just got, oh, blimey. Just use him as basically a launching off point to launch the things. It's just never ending skeletons. They're going to keep sending skeletons at me, and they're never, ever, ever going to stop because... Uh, I'm not sure these guys have even got mana pools officially. Okay. Go back over to, yes, a plan that worked previously, which is uh, shock potions. You've got plenty of them because we've got plenty of ghosts. So, no, 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 no. He should die. Uh-oh. I think they've just knackered my strength. Okay, John. We know what to do here. Wait, no, they've not. Why am I not moving right now? And why am I about to die? Okay, get some health back in a bloody hurry. Use, yeah, shield potion. John, they're using magic. That does nothing. Um, okay. Okay, everything's, everything's, everything's fine, probably. Oh, it's a skeleton. I was trapped by a skeleton. That's what was going on. Okay, that's fine. They didn't debuff my anything. The skeletons are just repeatedly breaking through. I mean... I think this ludicrous war of attrition, we can win against like six liches at once. That's so dumb. Okay, I've now got good healing going on. You're about to wear off. Would you like to punch something that's in front of you, please? Okay, there's like... There's maybe two of them. Hang on, where's where's my summon? I don't know anymore. I need to lead you out of here. I just need you out of the way so I can get to one of these guys. Just go back over to shock damage. I might be able to finish off one of you. You're almost dead. Another one bites the dust. Okay, and that means one less summon in the field. Oh, blimey. I don't know what you're doing, but they've all got staffs, which means all of them could have that ridiculous blizzard burst. Go for a standard poison. We're running out of shock fast. And go, 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 go. Damage health. No, I think they resist it. I think they can't be poisoned. That was possibly damage endurance. You're almost dead, right? You're almost dead. Another one goes down. Who's left? Bloody hell, this is so many. Hang on. Have any of you guys got good staffs on you that I could use potentially? Staff of Dispel, cocking useless. Staff of Storms! Take it, use it, then dump it. Okay, it's good flipping shock damage. That's not bad, to be honest. So, also, I'm carrying around this staff. I forgot about that. Okay, just take this and just, yeah, use it. Use it as much as we can. Screw you, screw you, screw you, screw you. Move, this is... Honestly, not doing as much damage as I'd like. Actually, just send in some reinforcements. We might be down to the last one. And also, you're out of charge. So, right, that was cocking useless. All right, get in a loop around him. They're very good at hitting you when you're on the move, by the way. No, you don't, buddy. No, you flipping don't. No healing, no anything. And bloody hell, we survived. I'm guessing, however, Claude didn't. Oh, Claude. I'm so sorry. You did your best. I mean, you did pretty bloody well under the circumstances. And uh, fortify merchant 10 points. We can do without that. That's fine. And just to confirm, I do indeed see the bodies of uh, six nether lichers. Bloody hell, that was ridiculous. And the reason we wanted to do that, however, is uh, Umbicano. Buddy, how about you just, uh, yeah, have a nice sit down over here because you were wearing the wrong hat. But guess who's not wearing the wrong hat? Okay, I'm going to be honest. I just, um, I just sat down while wearing, like, you know, the right hat and whatnot. I'm slightly underwhelmed at the process. Then again, he was saying things, wasn't he? Oh, bloody hell, I don't know what he was saying. Right, so I can't become the king of the Eye Layers. And it's not a race thing, because he's a wood elf. So I'm definitely allowed to do this. And uh, actually, you know what? Was he just bananas or was he right? Like, are the Wood Elves, the Bosma, actually, truly the direct descendants of uh, the Ilaid? Because, uh, I mean, they could be, I suppose. 
I mean, I know where the Dunmer are from. They're from Morrowind over here. The High Elves, meanwhile, that's Somerset to Isle. That's like somewhere off far to the west. So that's not really nearby. Valenwood, that's where the Bosma come from. And uh, I don't really see any evidence of, say, a concentration of Ilea's ruins here more than anywhere else. So, okay, maybe he was just bananas. And officially my mission now is to escape the wrath of the undead denizens of Nenalata. So, uh, I mean, I kind of did that by just murdering them. But possibly the mission isn't done until we've officially escaped. So, uh, I think I saw a Skyrim door in this direction. Lovely. Oh, yeah, there we go. The loot we were on earlier. Job flipping done. Step outside and away we go. And as for Jolring, obviously he's not offering to take me to Umbakano anymore. So, do you know what actually happened down in the ruins, buddy? My master has not returned from his expedition to Nenalata. I fear the worst, but Umbakano Manor remains in my charge. And I will keep it in readiness for his return. I like how he isn't asking me, you know, what happened, even though I was one of only two people who also went on the expedition. I did just realise, though, Umbicano's, like, dead. Really, really, really dead. Meaning, okay, I assume I've just sort of failed the mission to gather the remaining statues, given, um, yes, there's now no one to turn them into. Okay, he was paying good money, but honestly, as good as my sandwich business? No, not even close. I can deal with it. And I've caught up with Herminia, but nope, literally nothing from her. So uh, that would appear to be the end of the Umbicano business. Well, in that case, I know precisely what we should be doing. The thing I said I was going to do about a week ago and then got distracted by the Umbicano business, which is, uh, yes, just over the road from the ruin where we got one of those statues, uh, Sankator. The mysterious evil ruin where, yes, every blade that's ever gone here basically hasn't come back. So, something wrong is happening here. And also, I'm being attacked probably by a bear. Maybe not by... Okay, the adoring fan is back. I'm not 100% sure where he went, to be honest. Oh, yes, I murdered him for being a snitch and telling on the cop. So, have I forgiven him? Have I forgiven? given him. Okay, besides I have forgiven him, one murder is enough to make up for that. So I guess I'll take care of this bastard. Okay, Adoring Fan and me are going in. We're gonna figure out what makes this settlement so bloody evil. Why is it cursed and why have no blades ever come back from it? And to be honest, yes, just it's full of skeletons. It could be as simple as that potentially. So alright, slap on, scout it about, and underground we go. We've got keys so we can get inside so okay had I stumbled across this place earlier I wouldn't have been able to get in and uh cat cones search for the shrine of Tiber Septum and uh, I now know what that blob is it's not a rat or a fish it's a ghost it's just yes ghosts don't get fully highlighted uh, just a tiny bit of them gets highlighted so uh, ghosts are fine I like ghosts ghosts are a nice easy source of soul damn it and by the looks of it, that's all we're going to be fighting, at least for the time being. And giant piles of ghosts. So, alright. We can handle that. And, like, two ghosts is... Uh, I mean, honestly, we just took on six liches. I think we can handle two ghosts, though. Uh, some of them are, yes, the special, you know, king ghosts. With a crown and a sword and whatnot. Those guys are definitely a bit on the uh, nastier side. They are the top tier ghosts. So, uh, oh, even then. If we can just wail on him from both sides at once. We are not in the slightest bit of trouble, actually. Lovely. Ghosts also do seem to be, yes, extremely not perceptive. Like, if you can just pin them in a corner, you can just nail them with arrows over and over again forever. Which can be a really rather nice way of boosting up your marksman without being in any danger. But yeah, ghosts seem very bad at spotting you. Lovely, though, to be honest. Now he's actually down to, you know, almost dead. May as well go and help myself to the soul. Lovely. Over to a sword. Finish you off, King Ghost. Job done. Not just ghost, though. That is not a ghost. And clearly I'm in, yes, a lower maze. And uh, you know what I say to being trapped in a maze? Uh, where the thing keeping me trapped in the maze is, you know, walls and whatnot. Boing. That's what I flipping say. So just put that on and... Okay, just bang my head on the thing. There we go. Basically, screw you and screw your stupid maze. I'm now at the top of it. Although, hang about. This guy is... Oh. 
by any chance are you special? Because I have never seen, yeah, a skeleton using, a that's a blade shield, isn't it? You're a dead blade and you went evil. Shame on you. Okay, hang on. I mean, you're still a skeleton. Can I still have your soul even though you used to be a blade? Right, just capture soul right over there. Lovely. And I should be able to finish this guy off without too much trouble. Now, no, no, no. no, no. That's undead blade. We still get the soul. Lovely. So... And say, we now know who this guy was. And potentially, some of them might be dropping... Oh, hello. At long last, you have freed me. Now, I can finally complete my lord's last request. Okay, so... My ghost of Rylus. I kind of assumed you were Ansei, because you were wearing Ansei's necklace. Was there something going on between you and Ansei? I was Realus, loyal blade of Emperor Tiber Septim. I do not know how long I have been dead. It feels like an eternity. Okay, so I'm guessing you came here to, yes, investigate what happened to Tiber Septem Shrine, and then you got yourself killed. My three companions and I were sent here by the Emperor Tiber Septem to discover what evil had defiled the holy catacombs of Sankator. We did not know that the Underking who was here an artist had risen to take his first revenge upon his former lord, the Under King defeated and ensnared us in his evil enchantment and bound us here to guard forever the defiled shrine of Tiber Septum. I do enjoy how regularly in this universe people come back from the dead to exact evil revenge. Like, it seems to happen at least once a week. He departed long ago. But his evil will remain, preventing any from paying homage at the shrine of Tiber Septa. Over the uncounted years of our slavery here, we have brooded over our defeat. I believe that we can undo the Underkin's evil magic. I go now to complete my duty to my lord, Tiber Septon. Free my brothers, and together we may be able to lift the Underkin's curse. Farewell. Okay, so I need to find and free, yes, multiple skeletons. And they're going to look special. They're going to have, uh, yeah, ancient blade shields, uh, ancient blade helmets, possibly ancient Akaviri katanas. Lovely. Locate all of them. He was just heading in this direction, suggesting, yeah, down over here somewhere, there's going to be the Shrine of Tiber Septum. But there's no point going to that till we found the skeletons. Because until then, something, something, evil magic, can't pray at it or, like, get the armor or whatever. Oh, but then again, I hang about. There's weird glowy things right before this door to the next area. I'm guessing that, yes, this would have been blocked off. But he just opened it when he went this way. So, okay, we're probably looking at, um, yes, multiple sub-dungeons. Each sub-dungeon has uh, one soldier who opens the way to the next one. I think I see what we got here. Ooh, then again, and maybe not. This dungeon's actually, yes, rather open next to some of them. So, big round room right here. And I could go to the Hall of Judgment. That's over in this direction. Look round to the far side of the room, however. That is down to... That's the prison. Lovely. So, okay. This is definitely feeling like, yes, where we're ultimately going. The Tomb of the Empress. Okay, well, don't go there yet. We need to find more ghosts, though. 
This doesn't feel like a very friendly place in many ways. Uh, you know, prisons, uh, halls of judgment, etc. Feels more like, you know, a court and prison than a shrine. Okay, let's start with the Hall of Judgment before we go to the prison, because there might be important information here about, you know, who's in the prison and whatnot, and, uh, okay, there are, there are so many bloody ghosts here. Right, we just need to chunk our way through a really bloody large number of ghosts for a minute, gotcha. Though the nice thing is, yeah, one-on-one, -on -one, a single shot Katranak very easily beats a ghost. So, bare minimum, I could just basically let him loose and he takes care of all of this for me. And the best thing is, thanks to scouting about, I know precisely where I'm going. My target is that guy down over there, so I can spot him with pretty bloody good accuracy, and I know precisely where I want to go, so... Okay, that ghost over there, we could skip him nice and easy, just hop over the top. Hop over the top again. Again, don't mind me, just activate some ludicrous bouncing. You know what? This is all fine. Don't mind me, don't mind... You just silenced me, didn't you? Well, that's fine. I don't need magic to jump ludicrously high. I've got special boots that let me do this. So basically, screw you and screw your... Okay, I still can't actually, you know, summon, which is... Okay, guess we're just gonna have to beat this guy, you know, without... Never mind, my summoning's back, so that's all absolutely fine. Okay, I think he's doing some form of, uh, yes, armor condition thing. That looks like maybe, yes, the sort of spell or enchantment, rather, that makes your armor or weapons uh, lose condition fast. And I'm not having that, even though I have brought, you know, plenty of repair hammers. They do cost money, damn it, so no. No, no, no. Okay, you can't paralyze skeletons. I've learned something new today. I do enjoy, by the way, how, yes, I can capture these guys' souls uh, and then just sort of speak to their ghosts anyway. Even though I kind of assumed their ghost, like, was their soul. Those were the same things, right? And there we go. I have freed his spirit. I most certainly have not. I've just captured it. I'm going to use it as a battery. Have you seen Elaine? Or Valdemar? Realis fell in the lower chamber. We were separated. The fog blinded us. No. That was the dream. I am awake now. I must fulfill my oath to the Emperor before I can finally rest. Okay, so he's now on his way, doing his thing, lovely, despite also, you know, currently living inside my soul gems. Okay, and the other way from, yeah, the T-junction where we started, and that led down to catacombs. Beautiful. So uh, let's just head down in that direction. Then we've got the prison to do after that. So I'm guessing one skeleton each and... Okay, well this one was nice and easy to find. Lovely to see you, buddy. Stand aside in the name of Tiger Septim and the Blades. Hinder me at your peril. Alright, there goes Alan. He's off to do his own thing. Also, John, you should really be checking the weapons on these guys because uh, this guy was armed with uh, Northwind and it was definitely doing a lot of cold damage. You know what? 20 points, that's okay, but 25 is when I start getting interested, to be honest. Okay, the next one has got to be down in, yes, the prison. The one named area we haven't been into yet, so just nip back to here. And I think I see him right over there. There's our last chappy, so okay. Keep on keeping on, just to take out the weird king ghost as fast as we can, lovely. Oh gosh darn it, I've been bamboozled. He's a normal skeleton, you're not a special skeleton at all, dear oh flipping dear. Okay, maybe not just any skeleton. He did have a name, he was the warden, and he gets me the key, lovely though. I mean, to be honest, locks don't really pose, like, you know, a huge problem for me in many, many ways. Like, um, locks are fine. I can get by them no trouble. So, okay, there's more bloody skeletons everywhere. Right, wherever this guy is, he's decided to hide himself amongst the other skeletons, which is very inconvenient. John, you've got a mission marker. You literally know where he is because there's a marker on the compass and map telling you where he is. Still, bare minimum, Sneaky just has been very useful during this entire process, and I think he's down there somewhere. Just need to... There we go! We've got the lad! So just undo the evil that, like, made him evil or whatever, and then, yes, that should be your lot. He should be the last one. Okay, this guy, he had a special shield. 
Reflect damage 10%. And it is... It's heavy, unfortunately. I mean, 10% reflect damage. I have got so many ways of doing reflect damage. And yeah, heavy shields just do not work for me when I'm trying to block against actual physical damage because it just knackers my armor rating. Definitely better to stick with the light stuff. Okay, here we go. Tomb of the Empress. That has got to be the right place. And here we go. I'm seeing ghosts forming up their thing and... Okay, we're, um... We're missing one ghost. Oh, was I supposed to be escorting the ghosts? I've definitely freed four ghosts. Where's the bloody fourth ghost? I'm deeply worried that he has somehow fallen through the world and is now swimming out of bounds and can't actually make it to the shrine of the Empress. Okay, this is all very embarrassing for the Ancient Blades. If I just, you know, travel between the two areas and, like, you know, give him a second to reset his position then. Okay, it looks like he's moving a tiny bit, but oh, bloody hell. Right, would you mind maybe... Okay, I'm just going to... I'm just going to go into maybe an earlier section. Wait an hour and see if he bloody figures it out by himself. It's going to be fine, okay? We are not going to be defeated by a Bethesda glitch leading to an essential NPC being stuck swimming under the map. There we go. I think he figured it out during the hour's wait. Because now it's telling me to go to the Tomb of the Empress. There you go. About bloody time. And what are you guys going to do now, precisely? I mean, there was just a woobly noise. They've dispelled the evil enchantment. Lovely. We have fulfilled our last duty. We go now to Aetherius without shame. Farewell. Okay, and that... Oh, did that just answer a really important question for me? Which is, uh, where do Imperials go when they die? Because Nords think they go to Sovngarde, and, well, okay, some of them do. I think some of them don't get to it. It's like for special Nords. Apparently, you guys go to Aetherius, whatever that is precisely. Right, nip straight on through. The shrine is now uh, not cursed, and... Uh, oh, yeah. There's the armor. Not very good as, you know, armor. Probably why it's got his blood in it. He got bloody stabbed straight through it. Bloody useless. And there we go. We have got the armor of Tiber Septam. Just out of interest, am I allowed to, you know, wear it? Oh my goodness, I can. That's allowed. Though it is heavy armor. And uh, not very good. Because it's, you know, ancient. And armor manufacturing's presumably come a long way since then. And also, it's not even enchanted. Okay, Tiber Septem, as it turns out, bloody useless as a warrior. My progress on the Mysterium Xarxes is slow, I'm afraid. How goes your search for the armor of Tiber Septim? I was really hoping there would be, you know, a shock to outrage line that I've shown up wearing the damn stuff. But uh, here you go, Martin. You can have it. No problem. The Septim blood may flow through my veins, but you have the soul of a hero. The armor of Tiber Septim himself. Joffrey will be amazed to see it. You can reassure Joffrey that I will not destroy the armor. All I need is a scraping of Talos's divine blood. The blades are as touchy as priests about relics of Tiber Septim, it seems. I'm also just really enjoying, by the way, how, just by historical accident, we've now got the voice of Sean Bean talking at great length about how much he respects someone called Joffrey and desperately wants to keep him happy. It's delightful. So, okay, Martin, what else have you got for me? While you were gone, I've made some progress in deciphering the Mysterium Xarxes ritual. The third item we need is a great Welkin stone. You may have run across lesser Welkin stones, they're fairly common in alien ruins, but a great Welkin stone will not be easy to come by. They have been plundered one by one over the years due to their great value to mages and occultists. There is only one place that is rumored to still contain one. The ruins of the alien city of Miskarkand. A place where many have perished seeking its great stone. But nothing else will do, so you must succeed where all others have failed. Okay. Is this, like, any more dangerous than the other ruins I've been in? Because I absolutely refuse to believe it's more dangerous than six bloody liches in one room. The capital of one of the ancient alien kingdoms which flourished in the Cyrodiil before the rise of men. It is said that the ruins are still haunted by the vengeful spirit of its last king. True or not, it is not a place to enter lightly. Be careful. 
Okay, there's a good chance that yes, this is going to be a super elite mega ledge. Gotcha. And what about the stone itself? The pinnacle of Aeliad magic. Once, every Aeliad city had its great stone. But they've all been plundered over the centuries. All but one. The great stone of Miskarkand is reputed still to shine in the deep darkness of its ruined halls. But no one has ever done more than glimpse it from a distance. It is said to be guarded by the ghost of the last king of Miskarkand. Okay, so... I mean, if you're saying literally every Ilaid ruin once had one of these, there must be a million of these just floating around on the second-hand market. This feels like you're sending me to danger for no bloody reason. I do enjoy, by the way, how every time I come back, I swear he's got more books around him, like he's been reading more and more books every time I leave and come back, because that's a delightful touch of so. And there she is, on the road between Kovach and Skingrad, in fact... I'm amazed I've not already been there. I must have seen it on the way past. So, okay, bare minimum, getting there is not going to be a problem. But I would say, how about we wrap things up there and dive back into an Ilaid ruin next time to get the Great Woken Stone? Because uh, apparently a great king is waiting for me. And um, yes, I suspect this may be the toughest single lich I've ever faced. And uh, once we're done with that, we are cracking straight on with the main plot. All right, me and Sean Bean are now getting this world saved. So uh, hopefully you are looking forward uh, to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Oblivion. Thank you very much and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.